Hey guys, we are the uh, part of the cast of Revelations of the Seal of Orichalcos. I'm Tyler and I play Valtor and Elysius and his horde of maniacal clones. Hey guys, I'm Travis and I play Travis the Trainee. Hey guys, I'm Sid and I play Carlos. <laughs> so uh, we're doing this video to let you guys know some information about episode 13, which just so happens to be a very special episode. It is the season one finale of our like Yu-Gi-Oh show, and it's has it's pretty long. That's why it's taking like super long to edit, and it's got like four duels in it, and I don't know. It's probably gonna be longer than any other episode that we've done before. Okay, so do you guys want to tell the fans a little bit about your roles in episode 13? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you want to start? Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> episode 13 starts off with me looking for my cap. <laughs> I'm a very pissed off individual, very confused sexually and just generally fucking confused. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking for my cap. I fight Skullface. What's the name? Some random cool. Yeah, this, this, this fucking prick stole my cap, so I, you know, <laughs> well, my cap's back, right? So, yeah, that was that. And me and Travis, the trainer, finally, like. <laughs> <laughs> the trainee. Travis, the trainee. Yeah, whatever. So, like, we, like, meet up and, like, we're, like, having our beef, you know? <clears throat> Hey, Bonehead! I think the cap belongs to me! Funny. Transition from a little pussy to like a hardcore badass dude. Hey, listen. Are you fucking with me? Basically, in this episode, everyone is turning against Travis and Trini. He, uh. I don't know. Like, there, there's a lot of duels in this episode where. Travis just gets like blindsided and um, like there's a lot of turns where he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, like the sick thing about this episode is that it's probably got most of the characters all in this one episode. Like there's pretty like Carlos, Travis, Valtor, those random skull face clones. <laughs> most of them, most of the characters in this episode go through some sort of change and like their character, I guess. Yeah. And then like there's like Phoenix in then this one and for a bit, like like Matt's kind of, Matt's kind of in it, like directly. And uh what the hell's his name? Larkinox is in it. <laughs> I forgot his name. Don't worry Cheers. Anthony, we still love you. We still love you. Larkinox. Except it's a Yeah. So we're gonna take up the uh, the questions the fans have for the for the cast members. Um, 539286Full Beyblade is asking us why don't we use real cards? Not that they're not good, just curious. <laughs> you want to take this, Tyler? Well, basically, I'm more of like an anime person than uh, like a actual game person, and then so I don't really. I don't really like the real, like, kind of archetypes that there are now because they're kind of, like, predictable because everyone knows about it. Like, if someone's, like, using an Insector deck, you know they're going to use, like, the certain card or if someone's using, like, friggin' Gladiator Beast, you know what the strategy is already. So, like, wh when we use, like, real, like, our own cards, it kind of, like, gives, like, more of an element of surprise. So, uh, like, also, when, like, say, like, we have, like, Carlos's deck and, like, Travis's deck, like, I could have given, like, like, Carlos, like, a friggin' Machina deck or, like, given Travis, like, just a regular old dragon deck. But then, if you create, like, a custom deck, that's, like, an original idea that's original to the character. So, like, it's, like, that's, like, their deck. Like, someone can't just go to the store and, like, buy, like, a friggin' Machine deck and, oh, no, I'm Carlos. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll take one more now. The next question is, uh, it's like a general question that most people have asked, not just on the video, but like throughout the episodes. Is Carlos's accent real? 
Um, I'm pretty sure you've watched a good five minutes of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can tell if my accent's real or not. Nope, it's definitely not real. It's fake! It's fucking fake, mate! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's fake. It's, I'm, I'm not British, I'm not fucking Arabic, I'm not like fucking half English or Wait, fucking what's, Indian, what's, man. What's that other race we all think you are? Me Mexican. I'm not fucking Mexican. You thought you were Puerto Rican. No, I'm not Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican, I'm not fucking Mexican. No, no, I'm fucking Indian. I'm like, fuck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to like censor all these off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so another one is Andre Andre Droid One. Are you planning on using number cards? Uh, I know you guys probably know what number that one. Is. <laughs> I, I, I know like numbers hunters and stuff like yeah. that, but I think this is more of a question for Tyler because like, he's a story writer. Uh, the numbers. For me, they fit under the classification of like the Egyptian god cards and the sacred beasts from like a storytelling point of view, because like they're like a pretty like divine like force. So if I did use them, they'd have they probably have to have like a whole story arc around them. So I'm not saying I won't use them. I'd be sick. Maybe maybe I will use them. There's like maybe like a seventy percent chance at some point I'll include like numbers somewhere because they're pretty sick, and it's something that anyone can use. Like friggin' like you don't have to be some Egyptian guy to use like a friggin' like god card or some shit like that. Okay, yeah, uh, this one's from Alo's Kitty. Uh, they say, can you add turbo dueling? And me, I don't even know what the hell turbo dueling <laughs> is because I'm more of like like and like I know more about like the old Yu-Gi-Oh, like the original Yu-Gi-Oh series. Yeah, same all here. That, totally. All that new stuff. Yeah, all the new shit. I'm so, the old school shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> turbo dueling is like dueling on motorbikes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen yeah, that. Like that, that'd be great. When they drive on those motorbikes and they freaking like. Car games on motorcycles. How, how do they not crash? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Like if they're paying that's attention just to like, like, they the cars straight on the it's whole course, but it's the whole thing. Like, oh, it's, so what you guys be? Sitting again, sitting again. We fucked so, up. We were off topic. Can you? No, no, we're allowed to go off topic. No, but I'm like, just working with. Uh, Alos, okay, okay. Yes, the Alos Kitty is asking if we can add turbo dueling. <laughs> Would you be down for trash training riding on some motorbike with like his hair going? Like, 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 no way. Uh, yeah, sure. That'd Why be, not? That'd be pretty bad. I, I, I guess. Yeah, I would fucking love it. Yeah, sure. Why that. not? Yeah, so yeah, we, I'm yeah. sure at sure. some season point. Two. Yeah, season two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we can use like Turbo Duel at some point. So, S. Tadanan asks. <laughs> Sorry if I'm like, if we're like, what is this? <laughs> he says, how do you plan or build your decks? Uh, most of the time, for like people like like someone like Travis, this like revelation of the Orichalcus is actually based on like this like three like super short like films we made like a long time ago, like six years ago. So Travis's deck was originally like planned like already, like we knew he had like dragons and then I just kind of like built upon it with like the Cryos guys, and then I he already had like blue eyes and red eyes from the old one. Like he already had Tyra Dragon, and then like Carlos is like Carlos. Yeah, it's just <laughs> machines and stuff. I just kind of wanted some. I wanted. I based it off the actually like based it on like dark androids. Like I based them off like the Machina. Archetype, and then his deck's more like contact fusion, like fusing with uh, polarization, like making those huge ass machines. Uh, well, you see most of that in episode 13, actually. And then other guys, like like usually like Baltors, like just Ori Calcos. That's what I've said. Phoenix with zombies, just because they're he likes zombies. Like it's usually like the what the person, the actor likes. That's like kind of what their deck like is becoming. And then those random guys, I just kind of pick like a strategy and just make random cards that have effects that are based around that. Malefic 0091S, why was Elysius killed off? Plot twist? 
plot twist. No one likes Alasius, like, he's like some son <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? No, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I didn't think Alasius was a stuck up bastard. Maybe he'll, like, maybe he's that's just his, me. Carlos. No, no, maybe he'll, like, randomly would come out of the shadows one day. Maybe he's not even dead, mate. Maybe he's not maybe. even dead, mate. You never know. You never know. But then, but then why? Why was he killed by Okay, moving on now. The second one from the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm a Durker. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know if you'll understand it's that one. I, I abbreviated it. It was kind of... Okay, whatever. I am a Durker was asking, what is WTO your favorite orc? <laughs> We have orcs on the show. I don't even know fucking. We have orcs on the show. I don't know what, 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 what is this Lord of the Rings now or something? I abbreviated it on the paper. He's asking. His question was kind of long, but he's asking if waking the dragons was our favorite like arc in the real Yu-Gi-Oh show. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I don't like. It was my favorite storyline in like the original Yu-Gi-Oh, but Darts wasn't really my favorite bad guy. Like Merrick was more my favorite bad guy. I don't know about these guys, cause. <laughs> okay, moving I, on. I, I like Merrick. Oh, okay, sure. You like Merrick? I like Merrick too. He's fucking the shit. <laughs> okay, moving, on. <laughs> moving on now. This is asked by Godzir. Godzilla fan. Godzilla fan four five two. two. Do, do we have legendary dragon? Is that the question? Yeah, he's asking. He's asking if we'll use the legendary. I can read, by the way. It's just that I can't fucking read his handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> legendary dragon. Trask, you want a legendary dragon? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I I, <coughs> I have a dragon deck, so I guess legendary dragons would work well in my deck. They work well with with what I already have going in my deck, so... Do you want a legendary dragon? No shit, who wouldn't want a fucking dragon, right? Yeah, so I guess there's legendary dragons there. Yeah. At some point. Maybe not like in the next episode, but eventually. Okay, this question was asked by Freezing... Freezing... <laughs> Freezing Gaming Blue 6. Would you say that in real life, your personality is supposed to Carlos's, or no? Uh... Funny story for you, before the show even started, I was nothing like Carlos. After a whole year of pretending to be someone I'm not, <laughs> I guess I'm kind of like Carlos, so, you know, I have a bad mouth. I kind of drink now, so, yeah, I kind of, I guess, yeah, you could say, you could say I'm a bit like Carlos. <laughs> oh, you oh, spit on me, what the hell? Oh, That's love. disgusting, mate. Uh, Come on, get it, mate, Come. Uh, Valtor slash Sil Alasius is actor. <laughs> how <laughs> how are you? So, oh, and Phoenix too. How are you so badass? Well, I just kind of automatically am badass. You know, whenever I walk around in the street, people always avoid me because I'm so badass. You know, like when me and him are walking around, you know, whenever I go to the car store, people are like, "You don't want to duel that guy. He's gonna kick your ass." And Phoenix is just automatically badass, like, he's, like... Where are you, Phoenix? No, Joseph's Phoenix. Oh, shit. He's just, like, automatically, you know, like, that's what he just... Oh, can you say screw... Oh, it's way when which, when which voice? Like, the Alasius voice, or those two... All three voices? Or it's the, like... Two voices? Okay, so, uh... Apparently he also wants me to say, Screw the rules, I have money! So, Hollow Ichigo asks, are you going to use the five cards that make up Exodia, the Forbidden One? Hell yeah! Like, dude, the, the guy with the sword and the rock? <laughs> Holy, yeah, I'm, yeah. Obviously, like, every show has to have that one guy who can pull a sword out of a rock. <laughs> Just because, like, he has some history for the kids, you know, like, you want to have some... <laughs> <laughs> education, you know, you know, like yeah. For educational purposes, of course, yeah. You'll have the guy that pulls the sword from the rod. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a, that's Excalibur, not a good idea. Yeah, I can both, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Will will we have Exodia? Exodia's in season two. I'll tell you that. 
I'm not going to tell you when or how, but the Zodia is in Season 2. There's a lot of stuff being packed into Season 2. Is Carlos going to play a bigger role in the story? Too? Right. By Zack and Aim. Yeah, by Zack and <laughs> well, wicked name, man. Is Carlos gets most of his action in the next episode. That's like where all his action What kind of action, Tyler? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have any girls on the show? To have action with, obviously. Indeed. Obviously. <laughs> Who are we? Yeah, of course we have girls in see one. That's what we've been looking for for the past year, a girl. <laughs> what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series? The original GX, 5Ds, or Zexal? Uh, I like the original. The original all the way. The original is my favorite. It's like, it had like the most epicness for me. 5Ds is like my second favorite, and Zexal is pretty sick, and then GX I've only seen bits and pieces of. I haven't seen the whole thing. Zexal is pretty sick so far. Are you going to have any epic female <laughs> characters? That's, and that was said, that was said by Sky Silver 1 <laughs> 4. <laughs> and if so, are they going to be more than one episode? Um, I think we already know who asked that question. I think so. I think so. So, uh, yeah. Yes, there, there is. Yes. A, yes, there is. A, and she is definitely more for one than one episode. And how do you make your cards? How do you get the models from World of Warcraft? How do you make the actual cards that you summon them? And will you be interested in producing any more new monsters in the new episode? Uh, basically, the World of Warcraft monsters were like placeholders while I learned how to make my own models. And so, basically, episode 13 has like no World of Warcraft models, and then. Probably from episode 13 on, there will be no more World of Warcraft models because I make everything myself now. And yes, there will be a lot of new monsters, including Carlos's friggin' confidential fusion monster. Isn't isn't there isn't there some sort of like extraction program you use? Yeah, if, if you wanted to get that, there's like an, you have to have World of Warcraft in your computer. I think there's like an extraction program, and it lets you like download the models from this. I can't remember what it's called. It's like WoW Model Viewer or something. Will you be using real cards ones that aren't WoW based? Yes, I just answered that. There's no more World of Warcraft models. Bauer fan. Yeah, Bauer. Bauer. Nice. There's, nice there's no Jack Bauer all the way. <laughs> <laughs> What are you, some of your favorite memories from past episodes? Is it like this car show? Or? No, we'll, yeah. well, we'll do both, I guess. Like, what's your favorite memory from like our show? He's my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one scene where like that guy with the mask with the gun was like, yeah, <laughs> dude was like, it was like after me for something. Yeah, he wanted your Ori calculus. Yeah, he wanted that thing. I'm like. He's not my friend! Wait, what's that? He's my friend! Like, and my lover! <laughs> that was my favorite scene, because, you know, he got all emotional and shit. No, he didn't. Okay. But yeah, that was, that was the best scene. Yeah, well, uh, Tree, same question. I liked, um... <laughs> basically all of Sid's jokes. You know when he goes like, <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when like he does like this weird like twitching thing. I gotta know if you've noticed, but like, <laughs> like sometimes when he's speaking, he'll, he'll be like, but Travis, you can't do that. <laughs> every every time he does that, that is a good memory. Also, like um. Like when uh, me, me and Tyler had that fight where Travis Atrani and Chimera were like fighting on top of those rooftops <laughs> and stuff, and I, I got Tyler to use that song from that car commercial. <laughs> hey. so my, my two, two of my form, obviously I like all Sid's jokes, but like my other favorite part is like when uh, Travis Atrani summons a radiant cryos and then he's like, I'm in and he goes flying, and like, oh, sorry, <laughs> It's like when uh, Matt like got brainwashed and he goes up to Travis and he's like, No Travis, you are evil. He does like that face. That was like <laughs> epic. And then anything Matthew does is epic because like he's like he's just automatically epic. Like Phoenix, he's not. Yeah. You can't get any more epic than him. And 
Oh, and if, if you're talking about real episodes, like my favorite parts, are like when Yugi loses his soul, it's like I'm a good villain guy, so I like it when they win, and I also like anything that Merrick does, because he's a badass. And, then, and uh, also, he also asks, what kind of decks do you guys run in real life? Um, real life, I have a dragon deck, I have some sort of black wing deck somewhere. I haven't touched that in like years though. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't really actively play Yu-Gi-Oh that much anymore. I like am more of like into like magic right now. Magic the Gathering. But I, I have a black wing deck. I have a, a water deck. I've got Squirtle. <laughs> uh, that seal guy and a whole bunch of dudes. Like, I'm a water guy. <laughs> I've, got, I've got like a, in real life I use like a six samurai deck and I've had them since like they first came out like I don't know years ago and then I originally picked that deck because I thought they looked cool because like they all had like lightsabers and stuff like they're like ninja lightsaber guys and then I also have like three like a light sworn deck and stuff and I know Anthony like Arthanox, as you might know him, has like a Dark World deck, and he's working on a Light Sworn deck right now. And Danny, aka Rob, from episode 10, has kind of like this fiend slash spellcaster like deck in real life. Uh, Moreno Productions <laughs> asks, will Leslie ever get to work the ladies? Hell no! Ladies uh, for me, uh, Tyler, uh, right Tyler? <laughs> Hey, does, doesn't Travis train you? No, some, no. Oh, come on. I don't know. Like, well, at first, we have to work on getting Leslie, the ladies. Leslie, I, I don't know. I, like, like, if these guys are getting all the ladies, I don't know if Leslie will get a chance to work the ladies. <laughs> um, he has two questions. Have you guys heard the bad news regarding Card Heroes? Yeah, I heard about it, and it's... Be, it's because, like, they're all kind of, like, going to, like, college now, so they... And, like, they're... It's, like... They're, they don't, like, it's hard for them to get together to do all their scenes because they kind of live in, like, like it's kind of weird. Like, the underground team lives in one city and the card heroes team lives in the other. So, like, the villains are in one city and the heroes in the other. So, it's, like, kind of, it was hard for them to do their scenes. And then, um, yeah. And, well, actually, like, I'm, I actually talked to, like, the card heroes guys, like, quite a bit. And then the editor of, like, the card heroes, like, JoJo, actually made, like, this, like he made like this, like that, it's pretty epic. I, I always forget to like show, like I keep promising I'll show, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, it's like got the seal of Ori Calcos on it, and then he made like three versions, it's pretty sick, but I didn't want to seem like a narcissistic, so I didn't put like the Valtor one, you know. <laughs> the, res the Wrestling Wiz asks, how do you do your graphics, like make the god cards look super huge? This thing on the show and all the monsters are going to be a female coolest. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> a lot of people are asking if there's going to be female duelists. Uh, yes, there is going to be female duelists. We just had a problem like finding them before because uh, like it's hard to find girls that like to play Yu Gi Oh basically, or a girl that be like interested in doing like like first you have to find a girl that likes Yu Gi Oh, then you have to find a girl that's interested in like acting. And that's for the god cards, like all like CG generated stuff, and like we use the green screen, like you kind of like, blow them up, like really high resolution, you animate them and stuff. It's kind of complicated. You, I, I think well, wouldn't you need like really high resolution, um, yeah. like, like models, high polygon models, pretty complicated. So that when you blow it up, like it doesn't yeah. look blurry, it doesn't look like blurry and stuff, and like pixely and polygon ish. Um, that's it. James YGO fan 1993 asks, "How long does it take to create and edit your videos? Um, if it's like a regular episode with like one duel, it could take like just around like, a, like three weeks, and then three weeks to edit, and then depending on like Sid and like Travis. Like Travis, it takes like one day for him to film all scenes. Like me, it takes one day. Sid, it takes like three weekends. <laughs> <laughs> That important, right? Yeah. yeah. Do that high maintenance. <laughs> so yeah. And then how, how many hours a day? The whole. Yeah. It's like three weeks. So how many hours a day? Uh, average. Don't you camp down here? Yeah. 
Six hours? Six hours a day. Yeah, maybe. Editing. Fun. Most Wanted, 38, asks, will Valtor at the final duel use Orikalko's Deuteros and Orikalko's Tritos? Or just to see the workout. Well, since he's the grandmaster of the Orikalkos, he's the only one that has like those two cards. But he doesn't like Valtor is kind of like if he if he's not gonna like go all out on some like mini duel. So he's not gonna like like bring up the wing dragon of us. Well, I'm gonna blow you up for the hell of it. Like you know, he's <laughs> if if he uses those cards, he's gonna use it on someone that's like really strong. Um, uh, uh, they. Baines, YCWS, how do you get the holograms in your series? I make the models myself and then I have to like animate them doing whatever like that, like extending their arm, like shoot some blast or whatever and then that kind of like put it on top of the scene. Like everything's like in layers so like, like if you can understand that. You make the model like separately and then you put it with the like monster and like you put like, the special effects after. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, the Brothers Parad oh, the brothers Paradox asks, and I have one, what did Carlos' brother do that was so bad to Carlos that Carlos started to hate him? Like, why does your brother hate you so much? This is going to be a bonus episode. Bonus episode. <laughs> yeah. So I suggest we leave it for that. Don't forget the pandas. It, it involves pandas and kangaroos, so for all you fans out there, all, all you guys out there who like all those like little, little cute pandas. Pandas. That's for you. <laughs> and kangaroos. You'll find out what exactly happened. Also, he, he has a, another question. It's, a, it's, it's more serious than what he makes it sound like, though. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has um, another question. Do you guys have a dual network account? And what are your real deck decks? Uh, so far, only like me and like Larthanox have dual link network accounts. And I don't know, I don't really go on that much. Like, I usually only go on there to, like, duel, like, people I know. But, like, I don't know, I already said, like, I use, like, six samurai. Not on dueling network, because that's, like, a, a, a dick move. I use, like, a different kind of <laughs> custom deck on um, dueling network. And then... Oh, well... Don't know the name. Oh, there's no name for this one, but will Travis use and exceed some of his own? Well, I don't know, from episode 11, we could tell, like, Travis was pretty surprised at what, like, an exceed summon. Travis doesn't even know what an exceed is. He doesn't know what an exceed summon is, but I'm sure in season two he will have some sort of exceed monster. Oh, Vmon 888s. Can you try doing an Avatar live action series, have chicks and all of them, and knock out more than once? Maybe. You guys are so horny. What's wrong with you boys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should think he says something. He says something about a Beyblade. Like that'd be pretty. Cool. Like, we have to make like freaking like adult things like big guns yeah. and stuff. Like, we have to have guns. Like, give me your big beasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harlan Sama. He's like a lord or something. His name's Harlan Sama. Asks. He had a question, but it went out of his head. <laughs> he forgot his question. Oh, but now he remembered it because he said, "Oh yeah." Why did you decide to bring back the Overcast? Because none of that sounds totally different. I mean, the seal is epic, and I wish I had it. But, uh, yeah, basically he's asking why we chose to use the Seal of Oricalcos. And it's because, well, actually I chose it because I invented the series. Well, Seal of Oricalcos is my favorite card ever invented because, I don't know, for some reason the prospect of someone losing their soul in a duel looks like epic to me. When I was like a little kid, I'd always pretend to be Merrick with like the Millennium Rod and would take <laughs> people's souls. Like when we played Yu-Gi-Oh! outside, like when the duel disc first came out. So I don't know, I just like taking people's souls and card games, basically. <laughs> Uh, Leo Blaze 100 asks, did Matthew survive a duel against Travis and are there exceed monsters going to be shown more frequently? Yeah, there's going to be more exceed monsters. Yes, Matthew is definitely still alive because Matthew's a badass. Raymon asks if we can do various Turbo Duel live action series of various... Oh, Elemental Heroes, yes. Yeah, there'll be Elemental Heroes. Matthew will use those. Rituals, girl battles. I don't know, they, they like chicks apparently. You're gonna see them just like the V. Vmon really wants some girl battles. He really wants some girls. Dude, you're in the US. You got strip clubs and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I don't know if he's old enough like you. Oh god. Um, 
When, when we have a girl, every every series she's gonna battle. Yeah. So <laughs> every series she she's gonna battle someone for sure. Wait, do you do you want just a girl battling a guy? Can or you have a girl like, battling a girl? Oh yes. Three girls. Like like a three way girl battle. Oh yeah. What That's what I'm talking about. Wise man the 13th asked, does Phoenix have something against Elysius because from episode 12 he seemed to hate him. Uh, Phoenix hates the clones and he wants, he wishes that Balator would get rid of them and he wants, like, he, he thinks like, he thinks he, he wants to handle everything like himself kind of. He doesn't like the idea of like the clone soldiers basically. Uh, he also, Wise man the 13th also asks, what is the fusion monster that Carlos has in the intro? Your call out well, was nice. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in episode 13, so you'll have to stay tuned a little. You'll see it then. Mako Legend asks, what is going to happen to Slifer because Elysius is gone and everything. Would Carlos take it or something? I'm afraid that Phoenix took Slifer the Sky Dragon and he's on his one way ticket jet. To deliver it to Baltimore. <laughs> oh shit. Blackwing Storm 900 asks, why doesn't Valtor release his army on the world and find Travis? Because that would attract the CIA. And he doesn't want the CIA on his ass. Or something, I don't know, I guess. Attract uh, national security. Uh, are, aren't there like clones wandering around? Because we keep getting in duels with them, so. It's a random clone. A white clonopin! A white clonopin! So. Yeah. yeah um, there's, there's sort of guys wandering around, I guess. Like, I don't like, know if there are clones wandering around, like, they're kind, of, they're kind of just there, like, just taking random people's souls, like, they drag them into back alleyways and play card games with them. <laughs> okay, next kind of question now. So that's by Azer Man. Have y'all thought that far ahead towards the Season 2, of course? And will there be even darker surprises in the upcoming episodes? Will yes, yes. Of course. of course. And the third part of your question is... Is is there, is there anything special about the character of Phoenix? Is he just there? Phoenix is a badass, and he's one of Val. He's the he's like the second in command in Valtor's like the society group guy. He's like the second strongest in comparison to Valtor. Also, I, I think you've written like like a massive script for season two already, yeah. so. So we like he's he's already thought ahead for season two. That's it. Tough girl seventy. Oh, girl watches it. Nice. Anyways, tough girl seventy six six two asks, "Will you guys be done tomorrow?" I'm ecstatic to see. I don't know. Maybe this video will be done tomorrow. <laughs> Probably not the episode, but <laughs> the episode's epic still. <laughs> Zyler asks, dude, this series rocks, and I can't wait for episode 13. Thanks, Thank you, man. Thank you, Thanks. Sir. Thank you. Vimon asks, can you add women? <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> Patience, Vimon. Patience. All <laughs> in good time. All in good time. <laughs> women are coming, I assure you. Hey, guys. We're really honored to uh, have you guys watch this show. It means a lot to all of us, you know, for you guys to, like, comment and... Yeah, so like, yeah, we hope to you know continue watching the show, and we'll we'll have a lot more interesting stuff coming up next season. So yeah, that's it for me. Yep. Uh, thank you for sending in your questions. Uh, we appreciate what you are doing for us. Thank you. Thanks for all your views and all that stuff. Yeah. So again. Thanks for like subscribing, you know, commenting. Like, I we really like like reading all your comments and stuff. And um, no, stay tuned for like the you rested. Like, we're just, we're obviously still doing like season two and stuff. So stay tuned for that. And then we also do like other movies too. Like, um, maybe in between season one and two, like, we're gonna do a couple other like short films while we get like season two film, like a bit of season two film. And also, if if you enjoy watching like our Yu-Gi-Oh series, you you can also check out like. 
uh, like film ratio has like a, uh, their own Yu-Gi-Oh series, like Yu-Gi-Oh Real Life series, and then Card Heroes. If you search up like Team Card Heroes, that's like their new account because like their old account kind of got like uh, like destroyed by like copyright or something. So go check out them as well. And oh, I also and Style Point has a pretty sick Yu-Gi-Oh series too. But they haven't really like, updated it recently. But they're st still pretty awesome to watch. So. We're at touch. We're right at touch. Na 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 na. Here when we're not around. We're at a touch. We're right at touch. Na 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 na. Here when we're not around. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you for watching.